Franz Kapofi, the Minister of Home Affairs, stressed that Namibia is not an anti-asylum seekers country, but due to some cases where refugees that are hosted in the country have committed serious crimes, the ministry had to take precautionary measures before allowing the desperate group of asylum seekers to enter the country. We have had a situation where some of the people we have hosted here as refugees are involved in activities that are, are not in accordance with their status or are simply not uh, in accordance with the, the expectations that we have of, of them. You might have seen that one that was arrested involving in stealing medication in, the, in our hospital in Engera, caught red-handed. It's a refugee from that we have admitted in Namibia, but involving themselves in smuggling and smuggling medications from state hospitals, collaborating with our own people. That is not the kind of people we want to admit in Namibia. We want to admit people who are in need of help. We, are well, we remain open as a country to receive those who are really in need, but not people who want to impose themselves on us. You might have heard of reports that when this problem started in South Africa and Pretoria and Cape Town. These people were assaulting people there. They assaulted the clergy person, they assaulted the, the UNHCR officials. They didn't want to cooperate with anybody because these people, the authorities, they wanted to work with them, but they decided otherwise. Hence their demand to move into Namibia in big numbers. We are not anti-refugees. We are not anti-asylum seekers. We are human beings. Just like any other person, we understand the problem when people have problems, we do understand. But we do not want to be forced to take these actions by people who do not want to abide by our laws. If they are sincere and genuine, they must present themselves to our border authorities so that we admit them in the manner that is appropriate and not them to come to, to invade our country. The group initially comprised of more than 50 asylum seekers who demanded to be relocated to Canada through Namibia. According to the minister, 42 of them were considered for temporary resettlement in Namibia as they did not hold refugee status in South Africa. Likias Valambola, the Home Affairs Commissioner for Refugees, added that the asylum seekers will first have to be profiled and the successful ones will be hosted at the Osiria refugee camp. They will have to tell us the reasons why they left South Africa and the way they've been living in South Africa so that it will enable us to verify uh, in our V4 progress database. So it is easy for us even to, to see them where they were admitted. If they were admitted in South Africa, we will just see it immediately when we enter their names into, in the system. So that is what we are going to do and then we take it up from there once we have profiled them. According to the minister, some of those refugees deported have managed to re-enter Namibia through its border with Botswana and Zambia as they hold refugee status in South Africa. The minister further appealed to truck drivers and their owners to stop aiding asylum seekers to illegally enter Namibia without the required documentation as this is tantamount to human trafficking.